Hey guys, it's the Diecast Man here, bringing you another video. And at the time that I'm filming this video, there is a massive nor'easter uh, winter storm up here in New England. So if you are a part of that, hopefully you are staying safe. Uh, but today we are inside and we are nice and cozy and we are joined with the 118 scale Maisto uh, Chevy C8 Corvette. This is a new model that Maisto released uh, a couple of months ago, something like that to my knowledge. I haven't uh, actually checked but I've been seeing a couple videos um, and stuff like that about this car. Um, so as I've talked about in my previous videos, I... Um, and still buying cars. I mean, if I, you know, come across a, a good model at BJ's, Costco, Sam's Club, whatever it is, and I'm only paying $14, $15, um, something like that, I'm probably going to buy it. Um, just because I, I still love collecting the cars and it's not um, a lot of money to spend. And you s usually get a pretty decent model out of it. Uh, and this car is no exception. So uh, that same thing happened to me. I was uh, actually just driving past BJ's the other day and I figured, why not stop? And they had a bunch of these uh, C8 Corvettes. Uh, I believe they come in this red, this like torch red, uh, like a metallic gray uh, and then I think a black too, but uh, I picked this red because typically I pick cars in brighter colors. A, because I like brighter colors, and B, because they're easier to film and easier to capture on camera, um, which is really, really good. And this uh, torch red paint looks really, really good. So, uh, yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at this C8 Corvette. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so one thing I want to note before I get into the actual detail and review of this car is just how big this model is. I, you can't tell on camera, you never can, um, but here it is next to uh, an R8 V10 Plus. This is by Maisto as well, and granted, this car is not on suspension at all. It's just sitting on the ground. It's slammed, if you will, um, but the the size difference, even though this car is lower, you can just see like the size of the front end compared to the size of this front end. I mean, this C8 is really big. It's really, really big. I, I don't know why Maisto made it um, that big, but even just coming around to the back, I mean, the size difference, this is so much, and yeah, it's a wider car, but like the entire model itself is enlarged. Like it's, it's a wide car, so is the R8, but it, the whole thing is like, it's like they zoomed in, like the whole thing is bigger. Um, so that is just something to keep in mind. Um, and I'll start off by saying the ride height is really high. Um, on this, you can see that, that gap right there, uh, in the wheels and it does have full working suspension and look at the, the drop right here in in that. I mean, that's huge. So it's, it not only is it a large model, but it, it rides really high and there's a lot of suspension travel, I guess, if, uh, if you will, uh, going on there. So that's just something to keep in mind, but it looks great. It's, it's really, it's very shiny, very sharp. They did a really good job on the, the proportions of the actual model, regardless of it being, you know, very large, but, um, we we'll take a look at the front end first and uh, we'll take a look at the headlights. Uh, pretty good design. Um, I really like the C8 uh, headlights. Um, nice and sleek. You got your LED DRLs there and then I think these are your turn signals or your reflectors. It, it fits in very, very nicely um, with the body. You can see Maisto is really improved with their fit and finish with that. I remember in the older ones, if you go back and watch some of my older videos, you can see there's pegs in the headlights or they, they move around or they're sticking out or something, but that is not to be said for the C8 at all. Um, it looks really, really good, really nice detail. Uh, center of the hood, you got the Corvette logo embossed on there. Looks very nice. Um, oh, the paint quality on this is really good. I oh, I recommend the red. It looks really good. The gray looks sleek. They had a lot of the grays, um, but I think the red really stands out. And it's a Corvette, you know. They're they're always red. So, um, moving down onto the front end here. Obviously, it is a sixteen dollar model, fifteen dollars, whatever it is. So we're not going to be seeing that real mesh, but uh, this still gets the job done. You can see the uh, the mesh right in there on the grill. Got a little slat right there. It's got that honeycomb pattern. Still looks good. Um, we have this sort of, I don't know what this is on the real car, but it's like a shiny, smooth plastic right here. I think it might be like where they have the parking sensors or like cruise control sensors or something like that. Uh, and then this spot right here is where the front plate bracket uh, would go, I believe, which is cool because you can see that they actually made this whole piece for it. So they did include that instead of just cheaping out and making it um, 
one whole piece that looks really nice. Um, it sticks out a little bit too far here um, on this side. You can see it's kind of bent out a little bit right there, but I am not super picky when it comes to stuff like that. Um, the only thing I was picky about is that uh, I was actually had a different red C8 Corvette that I picked out, um, and there was actually like a huge paint scratch, like all the paint was gone right here, and I was in line and I noticed that, and I said, oh, I guess I better go back and get a different one because I, I won't stand for that. But I'm not super crazy um, nitpicky when it comes to details and paint quality and stuff like that. But um, Maisto is pretty good these days. So a uh, little diffuser or front splitter diffuser type of thing down here. It's just black plastic. Looks nice. It's got a metallic kind of paint texture to it. You can see right there. Looks cool. Um, side mirrors, nice black. Uh, really gives a good contrast here. Uh, very sturdy, actually. Uh, they move around a little bit, but not not very much at all, actually. Um, and then these wheels, these are the five-spoke wheels. I think that these come um, with the Z51 package. This particular one looks to be optioned with the Z51 package. I think it's got the spoiler, um, and my camera is just not focusing at all. But there's your look at the wheels there. Uh, you can see the rotors back there, and they are uh, the rotors and calipers are one piece. Like I keep saying, we're paying $15, $16, something like that for this car. Um, I like the silver lip on the wheels. That's a nice touch. There's not a lot of other silver really at all in this whole car. It's all like red with black accents. So the silver wheels are kind of nice. kind of breaks things up a little bit. Um, and the Corvette logo in there. Really good. Um, moving on to the side profile, the C8 is an extremely controversial car. I mean, not only is it mechanically controversial for being the first mid-engine Corvette, but it's it's controversial in its looks and that it looks, some people say, more like some sort of Ferrari or something like that than it does a Corvette. Um, but the side profile, you know, take it or leave it. I think it's all right. Um, after seeing a few of them in person, I definitely like it more. As long as they are optioned with the Z51 package, it looks a lot better. Um, but the paint quality, like I keep saying, is really good. Uh, there's this nice sort of inlet vent here for air travel uh, that folds into the door handle, and we'll get inside in a little bit. Got your gas cap right there. Uh, roof looks good. Uh, not a T-top, unfortunately, because it's just not in that price range. And then we have the back. And uh, the back is, for me, the least favorite part, my least favorite part of the C8. I think it's kind of disproportional to the front, um, but... I do like it from this angle. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, this is the wing that you get with the Z51 package. Uh, it is metal. It's just flimsy metal, I believe. It might also be plastic. I honestly really can't tell. Because um, it feels like plastic, but it moves like metal, if that makes sense. So I really don't know. Um, Stingray logo right there on the top looks really cool. And then uh, Corvette is embossed here. We'll take a closer look at the taillights. Really, really nice. Again, just like the headlights, uh, they fit in so well. They don't even move at all, at least on this particular one. Uh, and then some black trim right there, kind of accenting it. Looks cool. 2020 plate frame, of course, with the Corvette logo in there. This is all new for 2020. Um, and then this diffuser with this other shiny plastic stuff like what we saw in the center of the front uh, up there. Uh, so this shiny plastic and then this fake mesh diffuser. Uh, this is plastic. This whole thing is plastic. Um, sometimes they do metal diffusers and I really like the feel of them, but this one appears to be plastic and the exhaust tips situated in there. Very, very nice. Um, of course, it is mid-engine like I talked about before. Get rid of that glare for you. That is the big uh, controversy surrounding the C8 uh, and you can see that engine right in there. I got the Corvette logo and we'll get inside in just a moment. Uh, I think this is an antenna or something up here, um, but I do like this. They're kind of—it seems like they're kind of going after Ferrari's design with the the clear engine bay in the back like that. Um, but it it definitely looks different, that's for sure. Um, and I've sort of found that uh, these this one is very difficult to open. I don't have great nails, um, but I have not been able. That was actually the first time I've been able to get both of these open. All right, cool. So go figure. Um, but Everything opens, got two doors, front and back. We'll start up front. Uh, obviously, not your, you know, your weekend family luggage car type of deal. Obviously, I don't even really have to say that, but nothing to really see up here. Small front trunk. We got a couple of caps and stuff for windshield washer fluid, coolant, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah. 
and then moving back because it is mid-engine something just like something like a Boxster or a Cayman you get space front and rear which is really cool um, so we have some space here for golf clubs I think Chevy made a really big deal that you could fit golf clubs in there um, and then we have some carbon texturing on the side here and then you can see that engine it's very hard to show because the engine bay just doesn't open very high um, but you can see it in there looks really really good black plastic lots of caps and speakers and other stuff and then yours there's your window into the cockpit which we will go into now uh, speaking of things not open far these doors do not open far uh, either but that is neither here nor there Corvette logo uh, with the Stingray emblem bad uh, just kind of stuck on there it's not embossed it's just a sticker um, and you can see the door panels there with the speakers I believe um, and then there is your look at the interior. It actually looks really good. The C8 interior, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I think it's it's very different from what they've done in the past, and I, I respect them going bold on that. Um, these are like the, the bucket seats, like the race bucket seats. They're pretty hard to see there, but you can just Google a picture of them. Um, got the Corvette logo buttons colored in there. Uh, the center screen has all of your like main stuff on it, uh, which looks really good. And then your gauge cluster is a little bit hard to show with the glare, um, but it is there and it is a sticker. It is it is really hard to show, and it's also very faint in person. So, um, but I I it's a very very driver focused uh, cockpit, and I, I like it. You can see the the line there with all the buttons. That was like a big another piece of controversy was all those buttons there, and they actually are all colored in. Uh, it looks really good. The screen, the decal for the screen is placed incorrectly. Um, you can see it's just kind of stuck on there. There's not like a, a set spot for it to go, but that's quite all right. Uh, you can see controls down in there and then like cup holders and all your buttons and stuff like that. Seats look really good. They actually have um, like a texture in the center. You can see it right there. It's kind of like a stripe texture. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we'll close those up and then underneath nothing to see for aerodynamic reasons, obviously, um, just Maisto C8 Corvette Stingray Coupe. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up everything with this car. This is a short review, uh, just because my camera is about to die, but, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get everything in there. So, uh, yeah, this is a full overview of the 118 scale Maisto 2020 C8 Corvette Stingray. Um, and I'm still making videos, don't worry guys, I'm still looking out for cars, it's the Christmas season, so Maisto uh, usually expedites a lot more cars, makes a lot more models, and you can see BJ's and Costco and Sam's Club are usually crammed with stuff. So I'm going to keep my eyes open and keep looking out um, for new models, because I know that they've been releasing quite a few. So that pretty much wraps up everything. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, it's the Diecast Man. Signing off.